Well, good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Dutin. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. A major win for former President Trump, his biggest critic in Congress, loses her primary. It will break down the result in Liz Cheney's message to Americans. Rudy Giuliani is set to testify before a Georgia grand jury. Our Jeff Begay's is in Atlanta with what we can expect. Explosions rock a Russian supply base in Crimea. It's deep in territory controlled by Moscow. We'll explain what it means for the war. Plus, Afghanistan's hunger crisis is so dire, the U.N. is now describing it as a pure catastrophe. MTS Tayyip joins the stream to show us the impact soaring food prices are having on millions of Afghans. And today we are kicking off a special series of reports to help you better understand the economy in uncertain times. We'll break down what a recession is and if we are really in one. I'm actually really looking forward to this because sort of the first one is about the history of recessions, right? What do the different recessions look like? Because people have said if we're in a recession, it could be a small R recession, which might not be a bad thing. It might not mean mass layoffs. Mm. Yeah, F yeah. Fingers crossed. Looking forward to that. I'm hoping to hear more about the Panic of 1873. Maybe it doesn't go back that far. He always goes back to, back into the crates. I really do. Back into the crates, Stan. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's talk about Congresswoman Liz Cheney uh, and how she's looking ahead to her political future after losing her bid to keep her seat in the House. The Republican lawmaker failed to stave off a primary challenge from Harriet Hageman. Hageman has backing from former President Trump and has repeated his false 2020 election fraud claims. On NBC earlier this morning, Cheney did not hold back while discussing Trump and House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy.